Hello. What might you use a centrifuge for and why? Well, in my old department in biochemistry, we used to centrifuge blood samples to uh, separate the cells from the plasma or serum. And we would do the uh, blood tests on the serum and the cells would be discarded. Next question. What sort of... Various enzymes, liver enzymes, uh, poisons such as paracetamol and aspirin, we used to do tests like that. And then more specialised tests, such as hormones, testosterone, oestrogen, progesterone. Uh, many, many other tests, thousands of tests you can do on blood samples. That's just the main few. What might you use a fume cupboard for and why? Fume cupboards are a safety cabinet, basically. You're doing some chemical reactions where poisonous vapours are given off. You would want them sucked out of the room so you don't actually breathe them in. That's the main reason for using a fume cupboard to uh, extract obnoxious smells, vapours, poisons, etc. Why might you use an oven and why? <coughs> we don't use ovens much in biochemistry, but what we did use them for was to develop chromatograms. When you do a chromatogram for amino acids or sugars, the actual separation, you cannot see them because the solutions are invisible and you need to develop them with another chemical. When the chromatograms dry, you spray the uh, chromatogram with the developing chemical and usually put it in a an oven. The heat encourages a chemical reaction and the uh, separation appears as spots, coloured spots. That's the main reason for an oven. <coughs> why might you use a vacuum desiccator and why? This is quite tricky actually because the only, re the only time I've ever used a vacuum desiccator was linked to actually to another oven. In my, my first job we used to extract steroid hormones into various organic solutions. We had to dry these solutions down. Now obviously we can't use a Bunsen burner because they're very flame. Stop. Yeah. Can I do the last one again? <laughs> yeah. Why might you use a vacuum desiccator and why? <coughs> we used to use a vacuum desiccator linked to an actual oven in my first job. We would extract uh, steroid hormones into organic solvents which are very uh, dangerous because they're very f flammable. So obviously you can't dry them down in the flames, bumps and burns, that sort of thing. So we'd put them in a vacuum oven which reduces the pressure so they evaporate quicker and also, because the actual chamber was an oven as well, we could turn the temperature up slightly to say 50 degrees and this would encourage the uh, solvents to evaporate quite quickly and we would be left with a dry residue of the compound we wanted inside our test tubes and we would then do further tests and further solutions to these dried compounds to carry on the uh, testing procedure. End.